Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I'm coming at you with the Diamond Art Club sneak peek. It is beautiful, it is colorful, and it is really adorable. I think you're gonna love it. So let's head to the Painter Dining Room table, which is where we're gonna be unboxing because it's a big one, and I'll show you what I got. See you there. are back at the painter dining room table like I said this is a long one it's a big one it is a square kit from the blue striping and the blue emblem on the box which one did I get I'm so excited I love color I love this one so much it is called jungle harmony it is by artist St Steve Sundrum uh, again the diamond shape is a square and it is a 94 so it's long by 70 centimeter this is the uh, thumbnail if you can see it it's probably too small you'll get a better look when I open up the canvas but this is a big one all right let's see what we got in the box while I'm getting the contents out of the box I did some homework let me tell you a little bit about artist Steve Sundrum his artistic journey began in childhood when his extraordinary talent emerged as soon as he could grasp a pencil. Fueled by a deep love for nature, this innate gift propelled him to create heights and global success. His portfolio encompasses a rich body of work and a thriving business in art, design, and licensing. At just 15 in 1979, Steve embarked on a remarkable adventure leaving his native Australia. He's an Australian friend. Uh, to explore worldwide ocean creatures and diverse cultures worldwide. He crisscrossed the globe, sketching and painting along the way, settling in Hawaii in 1990. He captured uh, the abundance of the natural world, solidifying his position as one of the world's foremost environmental artists. And a quote from Mr. Sundrum states, my endeavor through my art is to share the joy and love I have of all the wonderfully colorful wildlife that inhabit our earth. Once touched by their beauty, you can only care for these incredible miracles of nature. And when Diamond Art Club, first of all, let me thank Diamond Art Club for sending this beautiful piece to me to share with you guys. When they asked if I wanted this, I jumped at the chance because of all the beauty involved in it. And I love elephants. I love elephants. I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with elephants uh, in a bit, but when you open the box, first of all, here is your box. It's a beautiful holographic box, very sturdy. You've got a sticker on the front telling you everything you need to know about the canvas. On the back is all of the information regarding diamond painting. There is also a QR code to scan for a uh, coupon code. Coupon codes are everywhere. If you're new to uh, Diamond Art Club uh, and want to make your first purchase, you can use my code as well, Painter10 or Painter15. Painter10 will get you $10 off your first purchase. Painter15 will get you 15% off your first purchase. Do not feel like you have to use those coupon codes. I just share them with you. Use whatever coupon codes you find. They're everywhere that saves you the most money. All right, so when you open your box, you get a great logbook sticker. People put these on the end of their boxes in case they stack them so the picture's on the end. I put mine in a logbook because it has all the information, the title, Jungle Harmony, the artist, Steve Sundrum, the diamond shape, and the dimensions of the canvas. Again, it's a 94 by 70. It's gonna be a big one. You also get a very nice toolkit with some uh, basic supplies and, as I always say, some extra sussies. Let's see what we got in the tool kit. All right, nice eco-friendly bag. I'm forgetting something in here. All right, so it's a nice eco-friendly bag. You do get a bag of baggies for drill storage, either before or after diamond painting. You get a roll of washi tape. This is a little bit of a difference. Every kit, uh, tool kit does come with washi tape, but your washi tape is gonna have a different pattern on it. It's beautiful. It's black with florals on it. That's so pretty. I've got all different kinds of patterns uh, for my washi tape from Diamond Art Club. You also get a cover minder, and mine is a beautiful pink sparkly shell. Um, cover minders, when I unroll this beauty, there will be a plastic cover sheet on the top of the canvas to help keep gunk from getting on the glue. Um, when you peel that plastic back, this cover minder has two magnets on it. You put the cover minder on the top of, your, of the plastic, 
you put the second magnet underneath your painting and magnetize together to hold that plastic back so it's not flippy flopping around on you. Your cover minders will differ from kit to kit as well. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of it in this container. There's plastic on the top and the bottom of this wax. Peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen. Can they see all this? Okay, good. Please also keep your wax in the container to help keep it from drying out. That's what you put in your pen to pick up the diamonds with. You get a drill pen and squishy. Your drill pen and squishy, the colors will vary uh, from kit to kit. I happen to get a blue one in this kit. I will not struggle with the squishy. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. It just depends. This is gonna be a night when I don't. The squishy you do get on for, cover, uh, for diamond painting comfort. Um, and you also, get a cup, couple of multi-placers. Multi-placers, and we will get into this more when I unroll the canvas, multi-placers help you place more than one diamond down at a time. I'm talking to my friends that may be new to diamond painting here. Um, there's a four and a seven placer. These are standard in every toolkit. Um, but if you get to an area uh, of what we call color blocking, that's when the, there's one color in a big area and you wanna place more than one diamond down to progress more quickly, you can put a multi-placer on the opposite end of your pen. You've got the single placer on the other end. And if you're not as comfortable with the seven, you can put the four on. So um, that is multi-placing. We will compare uh, color blocking to what, what we call confetti. Um, and confetti means you're changing colors constantly. Um, there's a whole lot of color, different colors in one small area. You also get a boat with a funnel, that's where your diamonds go into, with a stopper to help, help keep your diamonds from spilling all over the place, and the stopper is removable. And in square kits, and square kits only, you do get a pair of Diamond Art Club's branded metal tweezers. They are the pointy, stabby kind. Keep that sheath on, do not poke your eyeball out. Um, people use the tweezers for a, a multitude of things, scooching the diamonds around on the canvas. Some people place their diamonds with tweezers. I use them mostly for paper crafts um, and the like, or scooching the diamonds around. And that is your toolkit, a very nice toolkit, everything that you need in order to diamond paint. Okay, let's get this out. So yes, I was glad to find out about Steve Sundrum. I always like to do my homework on my artists and tell you a little bit about it. Uh, your painting is contained in a nice branded dust bag. You can store your painting back in here after you've unboxed it to help keep gunk from getting on, on it. And I am gonna roll this beautiful canvas back. These canvases are made out of a material called tarpaulin. Uh, they are self-flattening. I just roll them back to show you and flatten the canvas out for the sake of time. Um, the material on the canvas that adheres the drills to it is for glue, which means you can do this. If it is another material besides poured glue, do not do this, or you can harm the canvas, but you can roll it back and get it to flatten out. Um, and we also, on the top of this, you can see the plastic covering. It, it is uh, Diamond Art Club's patented um, perforated uh, plastic cover paper. I'll share a little bit more with you in a second. I'm going to have this hang out in my lap to relax a little bit while I show you the other contents that are rolled up in your canvas. Take a look at these drill colors. Oh my gosh. My little diamond painting heart is so happy right now. Look at all that stinking color. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. You also get an information pamphlet uh, in here with a thank you for your purchase from Angie, the founder of Diamond Art Club. Tips and tricks, what's included. A couple of QR codes, one to take you to an instructional video to show you uh, the process of diamond painting if you're more of a visual learner like me, and one to take you to the VIP Facebook group. When you make your first purchase with Diamond Art Club, you are eligible to join their Facebook group. Do that. Um, you do get a lot of good information in that group. Uh, on the back are two QR codes, one for an Apple, one for an Android to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. I do use the app all the time. Um, it's just a very nice way um, to have the paintings organized for you. You can find things easily. And through the app, you can get 20% off your first purchase. All right. Then you get one, or in this case, two, count them, two sticker sheets. This is so colorful 
that the colors could not make it on one sticker sheet. These entire, this entire sheet, both of them, are stickers, so you can cut. Look at this image and that cute baby elephant with its mama. Oh my gosh. Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to cut that image out and put it somewhere else, you're more than welcome to do it. It's got, again, the title, the artist. You can put a start and end date at the bottom. It gives you your, uh, your information on the diamond shape, the dimensions, and the skew number of the canvas. Each of these labels is individually cut, so um, when you're kidding up, you can peel these off and place them on your containers. These do adhere to canvases very, or canvases, containers very well, but they also come off beautifully um, without leaving any goo behind, which I love. Now, we made it onto a second page. These, these sticker sheets, I know, can only hold 67 colors, but this canvas is so colorful, it has 74 colors. So, let me tell you a little bit about um, these labels because they do tell you some information. The first column in pink tells you how many colors you're gonna have. That is how I know when I get to the bottom of the sticker sheet, I'm gonna have 74 colors. The center column with all these colorful little squares are your symbols. You're gonna match these drills down to these symbols um, to correctly place uh, your drills on your canvas. And the third column are your DMC codes or your DMC numbers. Those are also gonna tell you something. Any DMC code under the number 150 at the very beginning of this list is going to be what's called an AB drill. I'll show you what those are momentarily. We have four, four ABs in this kit. 132, which looks to be an orange, 135, a green, 138, a blue, and 141. Uh, one of the most popular AB colors with Diamond Art Club is a white. It reflects all of the colors. But, 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 when you come down to the very end, so when you're looking at these kits, look at the beginning and look at the end. At the end, any number at the end with a letter in front of it signifies another type of special drill. We have two numbers, 894 and 907, with the letter Z in front of them. That indicates we are going to have two fairy dust drills in this kit. The rest of this white are uh, also cut labels that you can use to label whatever you would like. So, um, Lots of information on here. Don't lose that, but we're ready to see it. I'm gonna put the drills to the side. Like I said, this is a long one. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at Mama Elephant with baby. Oh, and the flamingos, you've got three flamingos over here. You've got a, a lion cub watching butterflies. You have got a tropical bird right here. I would say it's a toucan, but it doesn't have the beak of a toucan, so it is some sort of tropical bird. I am so sorry for not being um, more literate in bird species. You've got another bird up in the top right-hand corner, this lush tropical jungle all around them waterfalls in the background. I'm see, already seeing some ABs in that water. Oh my gosh, and all this floral and greenery from the jungle. I love it. It is a peaceful paradise, really, uh, or jungle harmony, sorry. Um, anyway, um, they all look like they're pretty harmonious, so um, everybody's getting along, and yeah. So I just, Love, love, love this. My experience with elephants, as a lot of you know, um, I lived in Bangkok, Thailand as a child, and I got to ride an elephant. And the people in Thailand have some beliefs about elephants, and um, they had teakwood carvings of elephants that they would make out of teakwood, which is a beautiful wood. And um, anything with the trunk up meant good luck. So if you bought one of those statues, they'd always tell you to buy a statue with the trunk of the elephant up for good luck. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. And the colors. In addition, guys, the rendering on this is spot on. I never doubt Diamond Art Club. Once again, for those of you new to the diamond painting game, what I mean when I talk about rendering is when I look at this original picture of Jungle Harmony, I want the rendering or the way that this is put on this canvas to match the original piece of art as closely as possible. And it absolutely does. It's always spot on. Is that not beautiful? 
All right, talking about the perforated cover. Um, this is going to be very dark and I doubt you can see it, but Diamond Art Club has come out. Um, this is patented and exclusive to Diamond Art Club with a perforated cover paper. Um, it is a plastic. Um, what you can do, uh, if you would like to protect the rest of your canvas while you're working on a specific section is, this is perforated so you can listen. You hear that tearing? You can tear off squares of this in, in the size that you would like. If you want a smaller square, uh, you can tear off a smaller square. If you want a larger square, you tear off a couple of squares. That's not a problem. The squares are all uniform except for the perimeter of this canvas because they have to size this plastic to this canvas um, obviously so um, but yeah you can tear off a square at a time now if you are not into the perforated paper no problem you can just peel this back and go as usual you put this is where you put your cover minder and the magnet goes underneath the painting to hold this back and you can diamond paint away so you don't have to access the perforated paper if you don't want to not beautiful. Ah, I'm so excited. I I can see this going so many places, but um, I think of a nursery, like if somebody did their baby nursery in, in jungle or animals, would that not be adorable with the mama and the baby elephant and the baby lion cub watching the butterflies? I just think that would be amazing. All right, let me turn this canvas over. I will have Marlon pan over the canvas. He's trying to teach me the difference between panning over and zooming in because I always say pan in and he's like no care that's zoom in so I, I'm learning guys I'm learning okay um, we're all in this together all right let me turn this over and we will check out these drills I do have my scissors here to cut out those specialty drills we got a lot to go through so let's get into this all of these drills are uh, packaged very nicely in a big bag that is labeled Jungle Harmony with the title of the painting. In case you store your drills separately, you can have a happy reunion with your canvas. I have so many bags of drills now that if I was storing my canvases separately from my drills, I would, oh, I would need labeled bags for sure. All right, let's get to the fun. All right, right off the bat is our first fairy dust drill. Look at that green. Oh my gosh, okay, I need to get them in closer. Fairy dust, fairy dust drills are specialty drills. Oh, they're so hard to see on camera and they're very shy. They don't like to show their faces very often, but these are specialty drills. Um, they look like a fine dusting of mica powder or glitter on the tops of these drills. This mica powder is encased inside the drill, so it's not gonna get everywhere, get on your canvas. It does give a more subtle shine and helps with adding depth to a piece. So um, these are, um, I love these drills so, so much. And you can see them, you can see them more on specific colors, but this green, I don't think I've worked with this, and you get two big bags of this fairy dust. All right, 3860, 307. Let me cut this fairy dust out really rather quickly so that I can refer to it. And I'm showing you where these drills go. 319, here's 141, a big bag of 141. This is your first AB drill. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just make them shim shimmy shimmer um a little bit more this uh particular ab is a more popular one with uh diamond art club because it does reflect all of the colors so let me get that cut out all right look at that here Put my AB over here so we can move along with the train. Only one bag of 310, guys. 310 is black for those of you wondering. That's awesome. Uh, 701. Oh my gosh, we have three big bags. Look at that beautiful Kelly Green. 702. Oh, we got a hole in a bag somewhere. Okay, it's this bag. It is this bag. All right, sometimes that happens in transit. We know what to do. All right. Hang on, let me move these drills over here. And I will be very, very careful. In fact, what I am gonna do is I am gonna cut here. I did not cut a bag open, it's open on the back. So 
This, I think, probably got opened in transit. I'm gonna put this open bag to the side of 702. There we go. All right, another bag of 702. Drill that tried to escape there. 841, 648, 3772, two bags of it, and two bags of 700. All right. These next train to Georgia. We got a lot of trains to go through. 950, 632, 754, 948, 924. Can they see these really clearly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 606, beautiful. 890. 300, two bags of 300 of the brown, 3064, two bags, 801, two bags, 3864, two bags, 451, a tote, oh, two bags of 451, 165, a beautiful lime green. Oh my gosh, these colors are so pretty. Okay. And here we go, medium bags. These bags are not, uh, these bags are heat sealed, obviously, but they are, um, put in order by weight, so they are not a numerical order or DMC code number. 898, 712, 947, 38, 47, a dark teal, oh my gosh, 368, these colors, 775, 817, 938, a brown, 38, 48, these beautiful teals, oh my gosh, 160. Uh, 3768, 135, ding, 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 ring your second AB bell, that is it, it is a beautiful lime green, or kind of a, almost a neon green, it's so bright, oh my gosh, okay, so that is your second AB, that over to the side, 3325, oh, 3851, that matches my jacket. Uh, no wonder I like it. Okay, 3755, 334, very close colors, but 334 is darker. 666, one of my favorites. Uh, 3778, 956, and 132. Here is your next AB drill. Super. And that is a beautiful orange. Okay. Moving along, more medium bags, 898, 712, 947, 38, 47, 368, 775, 817, 938, 3848. Oh my gosh, these teals are killing me. 160 and 3768. And is this our last train? How many? Oh, we got a short train and probably a little bit of a, a longer train. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, 60, 33, two bags of it. 972, 926, 445, 498. Oh, look at that peach. Oh my gosh, 33,41, 740 in orange. A beautiful. Uh, pink 3801 and 842. All right, still looking for a couple of specialty drills that we'll find them here. All right, 3350, 3776, 400, 301, 161, 780, Z894, and it's a pink. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that is your next fairy dust and it is a pink oh it's beautiful with that beautiful fine glitter or mica powder are you watching to see if they can see these mm -hmm. okay all right 322 3852 138 oh my gosh what a beautiful ab love it it is a blue it's got that aurora borealis coating on it look how gorgeous that is these are making me very happy. 814, 797, 973, 3328. <gasps> These blues, 3845. What is this one? 3706, it's kind of wrinkly, so I couldn't read it really well. 832, 833, 3746, and we're rounding it out with 782. All right, those are all of our colors. Without any further ado, let me flip this beauty back over and I will share with you where these ABs and fairy dust drills go. Like I said, we have four. Okay, that is my bag that I need to watch out for. All right, so we got four ABs. 
and we have got two fairy dust. I am standing up because it's easier to show you where these specialty drills go over this entire canvas. All right, our first fairy dust is going to be this one, 132. That's that beautiful orange. It is the symbol one. All right, we're gonna have one. Can they see the whole canvas? Okay, we're gonna have one in these flowers here, down here, in this flower. Coming in right behind you. You're gonna have some ones in this tropical bird, a few in this butterfly's wings. Oh my gosh, it's wherever this, it just needs a little bit of a pop. You even have some kind of highlighting the bottom of the mama's trunk and down here on her trunk and right here on the baby elephant's foot. Oh my gosh, so cute. A little bit in the flamingo here, in the florals, just sprinkled throughout here in this tropical bird. And I think that's gonna be all she wrote. So anywhere you see orange, you're probably gonna get a smattering of that particular AB. Your next AB is 135. That is going to be that beautiful green AB. That is uh, the symbol two. And there is not a lot of it, and this is a big canvas. There is two in this greenery. Um, I remembered to bring my glasses so I could see better. So <laughs> um, there's two in these leaves, two highlighting this leaf, um, two highlighting this leaf. See, two, the two is gonna highlight, essentially highlight this greenery all around. So that's where that is going to go. All right, your next AB is uh, the symbol three. It is 138, it's this beautiful blue. And I'm guessing, symbol three, all of the blue in this butterfly is gonna be that AB. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so pretty. I love that. Um, there's none in this bird. I'm looking a little bit of three in this little background right here. None in the water. I'm surprised. Um, three over here looks to be in the bird of paradise flower over here. I know, write that down. Kara knew the name of the flower and in some of this, uh, some of the, the background of this greenery. That's where that particular AB is going to go. There's not a lot of it. Your next AB, your fourth AB, and final AB is this 141, this white, okay? So that is uh, a white background with a black dot. All this white you see in this water, that is all that AB in, this wa in these waterfalls in the background. Uh, all of the baby <laughs> of the lion cub's whiskers are all that white AB highlighting his little ears. There's some highlighting the baby elephant's ears. There's some highlighting mama's head right here. Some, all of this white in the background is all that particular AB, the white in this bird. Essentially, anywhere you see a stark white, ooh, look down here. These two particular flowers, all of the white outlining these two flowers is all that AB. That's gonna be beautiful. Um, white over here and kind of the background, anywhere again, anywhere you see white highlighting these flowers on the side, that is going to be that white AB, but isn't that going to make these flowers gorgeous? I love that. Okay, our next specialty drill. We got two more. We have two fairy dust. Again, the shine is going to be a little bit more subtle. So our first one is the pink Z894. And that is the symbol, well, someone said I should start to make flash cards for these, for these symbols. It's kind of an, it looks like a little sparse little Christmas tree, okay? It looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That's what the symbol looks like. All the light pink in this little flower is the fairy dust. You're gonna have fairy dust in this bird's wings. Um, you're gonna have fairy dust in these flowers, uh, highlighting some of the tops of these flowers. Oh, our flamingo's got some fairy dust love as well as the white AB. That's awesome. Um, 
Well, this flamingo and this flamingo got love. This one didn't look to get any love, but that's okay. He's got some ones. Uh, he's got some ABs up here, but this uh, particular flamingo and this one did get that pink fairy dust. And I think that's gonna be all she wrote there is not that much of it. Okay, where I am wanting to look is this one, Z907. Look at those two big bags of fairy dust. That is the symbol in. You guys, you're, you're gonna get a lot of it in the greenery up here in this background, all in this greenery, this frond right here. I mean, anywhere you see greenery, that is going to have that symbol N in it. Um, it's prevalent right here in the middle. It's all the veins in this particular leaf. Um, trying to find it without covering up. It's in this leaf over here. I mean, anywhere you see highlight of leaves, it's going to be. So that is going to be gorgeous. And like I said, you got two big bags of it. So that is where all of your specialty drills are essentially going to go to make this piece just pop. Oh my gosh. Okay, so scoop tomorrow, Saturday, April 13th is when these release. 9 o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Central, and 12 o'clock Eastern for Diamond and Ruby members. And 30 minutes later, 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 Central, 12.30 Eastern for general release of these beauties. Oh, I just, I love this so much. I just look at the little, she's got her trunk just protecting this baby. Oh, I just love it. It makes me very happy to look at this. All right, guys, I present to you Jungle Harmony by artist Steve Sundrum. And uh, happy shopping tomorrow. Set those alarms and uh, have a great time. There's a lot of beautiful pieces coming out this weekend. And I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Marlon, will you take one last pen? over that canvas for them so they can see the whole thing. Yes, good, all right. And with that, I will say, this is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.